So a guy that had knew me for a couple years said that he would protect me. And he took me to his house and when I woke up, he was brutally raping me. Worthless to Prices, a true story of angel. God looks at the prostitute and the homeless person, the hungry person, the thief, with an abundant, reckless love. He sees them perfect through the blood of Christ, and they're His children. My childhood was filled with love. All the neighbor's kids would come over, and our house was a place to come, and birthday parties, and overnight parties, and pool parties. I never felt different from my friends. I grew up with them. And then I found out I was moving to Arizona, and fear struck me. And then we got there, that's when all it changed. Met this boy, and sex came up. And he wanted to make love, and I was afraid, and I told him no. And he said that he'd go and find someone who loved him then. And then I got afraid to lose him, so I had sex with him, and then after that, it was this. I thought that's how I was going to get love. I was worried about what I looked like. I made their lies to meet my truth. I hated my name. I hated my hair. I hated how I look. I quit looking in the mirror. I didn't care to see myself anymore. And then I pick up alcohol first, and from that it led me into drugs, and then into a place so dark I couldn't see anymore. When I drank, it was blacked out. In my mind, instead of saying, okay, this is not probably what I should be doing, my mind said, okay, let me start cocaine, I'll be able to control that. And when that didn't work out for me, I got introduced to crack. And it grabbed a hold of me so tight. It made me do things and say things and hurt people and steal from. Right down to selling my own body. Because all I could think of was another hit. I'd go into what I call a crack coma and when I'd wake up, I didn't know how many men had run through me. So a guy that had knew me for a couple of years said that he would protect me. And he took me to his house and when I woke up, he was brutally raping me. And I just gave it up that day. I remember screaming out to God, you know, kill me or save me. But don't let me live like this anymore. God placed me back in a Summit County Jail in Akron, Ohio to save my life. And then I think I was there a week, and here's Becky Morlan from Rehab Ministries. I didn't even know who she was. They said over the intercom I had clergy visit, and I was like, what is that? Oh, some lady wants to talk to you about Jesus. And I flew up the stairs because I wanted to hear about him. And I got up there and there was this beautiful lady on the other side of the glass. And I just remember she smiled and she loved Jesus. And she cared enough to come, see me, and tell me that he loved me. And it began right there. I did a lot of wrong choices. I was given self-will and I choose to live my life be in position where I could be raped and to pick up the drugs and alcohol that I could have said no to. And through my choices, he protected me. I should be dead with the life that I live, with the places I feel asleep, and what the things that have happened to me. He protected my life through the bad choices I made. He was right there. But through it, God placed me back in her path where I could be around her so she could comfort me and put her arms around me in the times I wanted to beat myself up and quit. And she encouraged me through the word, through Jesus' love, and through her love. 
And when I started reading that I was more than a conqueror in Christ and that I was beautiful daughter of the King, I seen just how wrong it was for me to believe that I was worthless. After what Jesus Christ did for me, that's what bring the joy and gratitude for the life that I have. That is life changing. I'm so different from the beginning. I have learned to define myself as a beautiful daughter of the Most High King. I don't have to remember the bad that I've done. When I ask for forgiveness, when I repent, He throws it away. He throws it away in the sea of forgetfulness. So, if He's not remembering it, I don't have to hold on to it. And 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, I'm a new creature in Christ and all old is passed away. I am a new creature in Jesus Christ. Amen. I would love to hear from you. Comment down below your thoughts about this devotion.